The first steam turbine powered ship, the Turbinia, though not equipped to fight, would shape the future of warships. With Parsons' turbine generating 1,000 horsepower, he calculated a top speed in the region of 30 knots, a record breaking feat for the day. The problem was that in testing, the Turbinia failed to perform, unable to reach even 20 knots. What followed was a two-year period of intensive research that led to a breakthrough in the understanding of cavitation. Because water at a lower pressure boils at a lower temperature, the low pressure zone created by a spinning propeller can effectively boil seawater. The bubbles formed by cavitation are not filled with air, but with steam. As the steam bubbles implode, the resulting shock waves wreak havoc on any nearby moving parts, rapidly enhancing wear and dramatically decreasing performance. Parsons' research led him to understand that by increasing the blade size of the Turbinia's propellers, he could delay the inception of cavitation. Sporting this enhanced propeller system, the Turbinia took to the water again in 1897, reaching a top speed of 32.7 knots. It astonished onlookers and easily became the fastest ship of its day.